Doctor. We're a bike shop that concentrates mainly on bike mechanics and custom builds. We do have retail side and we do do some mobile mechanics as well. Today we're building a bomb track hook EXTC, which is basically the Swiss Army knife of bikes. Bomb tracks are a brand that we've wanted to have in the shop for a long time. They have a really good reputation of build quality. There's a full range, you know, you've got road bikes, gravel bikes, mountain bikes, and they're really nice to look at too. <laughs> so I'm using all the best components. I am going for Kush in the tush, but I also need it to be comfy to like look after my old man wrists, my old man back. The main part of the build is like using the right sort of like lubes. Carbon always slips. So that carbon paste has got like grit in it so that it grips and doesn't slip. Love that. This is the gravel suspension, yeah. Which is pretty new, really. It's sort of like, suspension's designed for mountain bikes and it has loads of travel. 100 mil, like up to 160 or whatever. But with gravel bikes, you need less travel, but that sort of high frequency needs to be there just to take all the, vi the tiny vibrations out. It's like Christmas every day in the bike shop. Get to open up little gifts all the time. It's nice. <laughs> uh, so this is the rear tire. Get a lot of deflection in the tire, so when you're running like low pressures, everything moves around a bit. One of the most important things is lining up the labels with the valve. That's how you know Pro's done it, hey? So the tire has a little bit of like a coating on the inside to make it more airtight, but then you use sealant, which I'll stick in now, and yeah, that fills any holes anywhere. There's no tube. So that when you do get a little tiny puncture, it fills up. It used to be like road discs and mountain bike discs, but now road and mountain bike just use the mountain bike discs because they like they deflect, they deflect less with the heat. If you do heavy braking on a road one, once you've let off the brake, sometimes you get a little ting, 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 where it's like, misshapen with the heat, um, but with the mountain bike ones, they hold their shape a lot better. They hold their straightness a lot better. My nickname's Goldie Bear. So that ends the gold. My Welsh mate, Joe, had these made up for me. Um, and they're basically my family. So Koala's my wife, Gnomes. She's a little Aussie. Mouse is my daughter, Mika. The bear is little teddy bear, Theo. And the bee is Vera B. She's only three weeks old. Things are usually a little bit quicker when you're building it for yourself because you're like busting to ride it. But when you build a bike for a customer, like, the attention to detail is the main thing. Like making sure everything is perfect, making sure everything is safe. People trust us working on their bikes because the love we have for it. Um, it's obvious that we all ride bikes, we all love them so much. And we're personable, like people can come in here, tell us exactly what they want, and it doesn't matter what level they are. Yeah, we've had lots of hugs from customers. I guess customers become friends when you do their dream bike for them. We're also a social enterprise owned by a charity called Dismantle. It's just, it really is the best part of the job, working with these kids, helping them like figure out a future. So for disadvantaged young people who come here and get to work on bikes and have a yarn, it breaks down that barrier. So 
They can talk about their life maybe, talk about what they want to do in the future, and it's great for us to help them, you know. Um, we really enjoy like helping these kids come out of their shells a bit, um, talk about what they love, what they want to be, and hopefully give them some advice that can help them in the future. Oof, the bomb track frames to go to, mate. Really good. Everything about it. It's amazing I could just make it the bike I wanted, like, perfectly. Like, all the components work really well together. No issues with the tires, just the right amount of volume. Um, so, yeah, sucked everything up, especially the bits of sand everywhere. Like, glided over those pretty nice, too. Definitely did everything I wanted to do. Nice, comfy ride. It's quite rocky here, so it handled all the rocks really well. And then, yeah, it's light and fast, so it does everything I wanted to do. It's perfect. Bark.